Hello guys and girls, welcome back to The Racing Line. Another week, another circuit guide here on iRacing. Once again for the BMW 12.0 series in the new BMW M4 GT4 car. We are here for week 10 already round circuit Gilles Villeneuve, the Canadian GP circuit. A familiar layout to myself as I've played all the F1 games. However, very narrow and the chicanes are much tighter than I expected. I don't know if it's the car, it's probably the game being laser scanned and F1 not so much. Same format as before, a breakdown lap showing you what gears to be in and where to break on each corner and then a full speed uninterrupted lap going over what we just went over, showing the telemetry as well, and then an off-board lap showing our sector times and where to position the car, what curbs you can cut. As usual, this is filmed before the week has begun, so it's hard to compare lap times to everybody else. However, I think the top split pole times are probably going to be around the low 144 mark. Here we go then on the left hand side getting ready for turn one, back over to the right, and we're going to break at this little road patch on the inside just before the number two from fifth down into third gear. We're going to stick to the right hand side as we get to third we're going to turn in and we're going to cut the inside curb of turn one. Not too much, we're going to ride over it, we're going to accelerate on the exit, you want to get a little run to turn two and then we're going to break again straight away down into second and hug this right inside curb. Accelerate out nice and easy, drift back over to the left and then we get a short run to the next corner up into fourth, braking zone for this one. You can break at the two which I think is slightly early, break at the shadow on the road up ahead from fourth down into third once again sticking to the left and then we're going to aim to cut the curb a little bit on the inside feather the throttle through here accelerate out and then we're going to lift just slightly as we turn into this curve and then get back on the power full speed over to the right now for this corner you want to get over to the left up into fourth gear and we're going to lift slightly and then turn in and hug that right hand side wall it's important that you lift otherwise you'll understeer straight on or just unsettle the car so as you're hugging the right, you want to be on the right-hand side. Braking zone for this corner is the second tree shadow. We're going to go from fourth down into second as we still aim to be on that right-hand side. And then we're going to turn in nice and easy again, cutting that inside curve of the first part and trying to get a best exit we can. So easy on the throttle here. As you shift up into third, you're going to want to lift slightly, still hugging that right-hand side and then drift back out. It's very easy to oversteer there. We will see a lot of spins there this week. All about the exits this circuit, absolutely concentrate on the exits. Braking zone for this corner just before that two or that shadow on the road. From fifth down into third, turn in early as you understeer into the entry of this corner. You want to cut this first one, you're going to cut the second one slightly as well. Just ride those white curves as you accelerate out back over to the right hand side of the wall. Another quick breather as we go up the gears and prepare for the tightest corner on the circuit, the dreaded hairpin, the dive bomb hairpin. People are going to absolutely die this week here. We're going to break just as the road ends and that grass begins down into second. Now, patience on that throttle. Now, see how late you get on the throttle. You need the car to be straight to get the best exit you can. If you accelerate slightly too early, you will understeer into the wall and to stop that from happening, you're then going to have to lift and you'll lose all the run that you have on this straight. I think we'll see a few people doing that as well as it's hard to be patient during a race scenario. Braking zone for this corner in between the four and the three board. We're going to go from fifth down into third. This is an important corner down into third. We're going to cut this first curb. Now I actually cut, missed the first curb. I turned in slightly too late and cut the second one as a result. But if you cut the first one, you can open up this second one as you shift up the gears, get a nice smooth exit close to that wall and then get the run down. If you're on a hot lap, stick to this right hand side to minimize the run to the line. In the race, drift over to the middle and then come back around. Uninterrupted now, full speed, looking for that road on the right, down into third. Cut this first curve, accelerate out, down into second, hug the right hand side and smooth on the power on the exit, back over to the left and take a breath, first corner's done. Chicane coming up, shadow on the road, down into third. Cut this first one, not too much, accelerate out, lift, back on the power, back over to the right, flat out, over to the left, lift keep it in fourth, back on the power, get to the right hand side, second tree shadow down into second. Turn in, ride this curb, smooth on the power, lift and back on. Lift just as you've gone up into third and then get back on the power straight away. Braking zone just before the two, down into third, cut the right one, cut the left one, Watch that oversteer. 
The slowdown penalties are extremely harsh on this circuit, so do be careful when cutting these corners. Looking for the end of that road where the grass begins down into second, turn in. Wait for that smooth input on the throttle. Try not to get a snap of oversteer like I did. And now we've got the long run down to the final chicane. I'm hoping, depending on exits, we're not going to see too many overtakes here. If we do, they're going to be stupid dive bombs and both cars are literally going to end their race. We're going to break between the four and the three, down into third. Cut the first chicane, second bit, accelerate out. And see I've got half throttle always through these mid chicanes just to try and keep that power up and try and gain those extra couple of attempts. That's a 144.7. Now the off-board lap so you can see the sector times below and compare yourself to which sector you need to improve on. That's enough talking from me. As usual, I'll leave you with this off-board lap. It's been good to see all of your comments over the last few weeks. Do keep them coming in. The split times was a suggestion from one of you and it was a good addition. So keep them coming in. Keep those comments. Let me know how you've been doing in your races. Have you met any bandits? Have you seen any really good people that maybe I should be aware of? I think this week we just reached 250 subscribers, which, is, which has been rapid growth. It's been really surprising and really nice. So please keep them coming in. Our next milestone video will be at 500. So keep subscribing and hopefully I'll see you out on track this week. If I don't, I'll see you next week for the new circuit guide here on The Racing Line. Peace.